Hi and welcome back to our channel. Last week we were talking about the German mustard, the facts, varieties and also what we eat a German mustard with. In this video we will be focusing on cooking with a German mustard. The first dish that I would love to show you are the Eier in Zensauce, so the hard-boiled eggs with a mustard sauce. The dish was very popular in Eastern and Northern Germany. To make the mustard sauce you need to make a roux from butter and white flour that are mixed together and fried on medium heat for about three minutes. Then it is the time to add the milk and keep on stirring until all ingredients combine. The most important ingredient of the sauce is obviously mustard. So you can start with one tablespoon and that wasn't for sure enough for me. Then you can also add some seasoning like salt and pepper and your sauce is ready. And as you can see on the screen, the dish is traditionally served with hard boiled eggs and boiled potatoes. Oh, and don't forget to decorate it with some dough if you like it. Also, another version of this dish we had in Schleswig-Holstein in the restaurant called Meerfisch in Eckenförder. Just instead of the eggs, uh, we had a pan-fried fish. To make this sauce, broth is used instead of milk. And this one also contains cream. You need to check it out, it's so delicious! Another recipe with mustard are the German beef rolls. You probably know this famous German dish is filled with pickled cucumber, onion, bacon, salt, pepper and a good amount of mustard. Then the beef rolls are braised and when you look very carefully you can see the mustard at the bottom there. Mustard is also used as a marinade and there is one traditional dish that comes from Thüringen and that's the pork neck that is marinade in salt pepper, mustard and beer, but also onions and garlic are used. So the meat has to marinate for at least 24 hours and then grilled. The whole thing can be served with a wonderful potato salad. What a treat! Also, mustard is used in the soups. There you go, I've got an example for you. This is soylianka, which is a thick and sour soup of the Russian origin that was very popular in the DDR, so the GDR area of Germany. Soyanka contains usually onions, red pepper, gammon, jagwurst, pickles, garlic cloves, tomatoes, as well as tomato puree, vegetable broth, water from pickles, paprika powder, salt, sugar, sour cream, and also mustard. Soup has a pretty sour taste, but if you like sour, you're gonna be fine with it. Also, as an addition to many different sauces, we like using mustard. This sauce is called hashé. The name actually means to chop and probably originated as a way to use up leftovers. German hashé is made of mincemeat, onions, tomato puree, paprika powder, sugar, meat, broth, butter, milk, pepper, cayenne, pepper, and obviously mustard. The sauce is served with German egg noodles. And please don't compare it to the Italian bolognese. If you look at the traditional ingredients, those two dishes don't have really much in common. Mustard is also used in Feuerfleisch, and this one also contains very interesting foods. By this I mean it contains not only meat, in this case it's actually pork, but also onions, peppers, tomato puree, pickled cucumbers, chili, sugar, salt, pepper, tabasco and of course mustard. I seriously love this dish, I would eat it again. Mustards are also used as an ingredient to potato salad dressing. Our favorite potato salad dressing is pretty simple. It's got Miracle Whip or Mayo, also mustard, some myron, salt and pepper as well as a bit of white vinegar and sugar. Oh my goodness, just look at this dressing. That was such a lovely potato salad. And by the way, if you wonder how to make German potato salads, I will link a video for you in the description box down below. 
As you already probably know, uh, we've got many different potato salads here in Germany. The one that I'm showing you right now on the screen is made with oil and vinegar, as well as broth and onions. And guess what we will be adding to it? Yes, mustard! We will be adding mustard to it. And then also some salt and pepper. And at this point your dressing is ready and it can be mixed with some potato slices. One of my favorite dishes with mustard are the German meatballs, so called Frikadellen. They are made of onion. I am actually using fried onion because we don't really like raw onion inside of the meatballs. Therefore I fry it before adding it to the meat. In the meantime, I also soak a white bread roll in cold water. 10 minutes is actually enough and then I squeeze it to remove the excess water. Those make the meatballs so fluffy. Then you mix those with the meat, add the fried onions and then salt, pepper, paprika powder and spicy paprika powder and an egg as well as mustard. The whole thing is mixed very well together and then the meatballs are formed. If the mixture is too sticky, you can also add some breadcrumbs to it. Then the meatballs are fried. And by the way, I have also made uh, meatballs from my 10 month old son. Those were actually his first meatballs. And then if you like, you can also serve the German meatballs with some mustard. And the last dish that I would love to share with you, it's called Düsseldorfer Senf Rostbraten. And that was a serious treat. I couldn't really find a recipe that I liked. So I used actually three recipes as an inspiration. And then in the end, I made my own one, I guess. It just didn't make sense. So anyway, for this a la Marta Düsseldorfer Senf Rostbraten, I fried some onions and mixed them with a paprika powder, spicy Löwen Senf and mixed it all together. And then I also added some breadcrumbs and my crust for the steak was ready. I have also prepared a sauce uh, which contained uh, butter, mustard and cream and then told my husband to make steaks for us. We have prepared them normally so we just fry them on both sides so they were nice and brown but only two minutes from each side and then I covered one side, so the top one, with this crust. First I tried to use spoons but then I just did it with my hands, sorry, and then I gratinated in oven. To this I added the meat juices to the sauce and at this point my sauce was ready. And then I served the whole thing with mashed potatoes. And although the sauce and the crust were made with mustard, they tasted completely differently. When I go to the Sudorf, that's gonna be the first thing that I'm gonna eat there. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know in the comments down below if you are also cooking with a mustard and if yes, what is your favorite dish? I really hope that you did like this video series. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos like this. Next week I will be actually taking a week off because I will be working on all the projects but then I will be right back with a fresh content for you. So in this case I wish you a lovely two weeks, stay safe and healthy and I will see you very very soon. Bye!